Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you 29 January. Month end on the horizon here. Big squeeze yesterday in risk. Uh, let's take a look at what happened and what is going to happen today. Euro Swiss is on the brain here. Um, we got long Wednesday. A um, little bit too early, obviously. And uh, we ended up puking our longs through 75. The low was 66. Bullish engulfed. Uh, so painful uh, when this kind of shit happens. But such is life. Not the first time. Uh, won't be the last time this happens. So we just move on and trade accordingly um, as my mentor used to say every trading day is just information right so you don't get angry you don't get sad it's just information this bullish engulfing after um, three months of uh, very steep down looks like change in trend so long long euro swiss uh, is on the cards we've already made a new daily high today there should be some volatility um, because of FOMC, so you can probably pick up uh, Euro Swiss today between 25 and 10, 107, 25, 107, 10. Um, long Euro Swiss is the way forward now. CPI out last night in Aussie. Aussie looks like it's turned as well. Um, this change in trend type bar um, gravestone doji I guess almost if you will uh, plus I guess I didn't even look but looks like uh, CPI must have beat last night in Oz um, this looks pretty solid now right so you've had this big downtrend now you've had a big tail here down to 40 here we are at 68, Aussie looks like it's turned. So now we have Euro Swiss, looks like it's turned. Aussie looks like it's turned. Let's look at Dollar Czar. As you can imagine, same type chart, not quite as powerful. Um, this will be the last currency we would ever buy for risk on. We don't really trust uh, Czar. But this looks like also it has turned, it failed above the 200 day moving average, which is around 1461. Now here we are. Uh, you really need to get below 50 before I would get bearish dollars are. Uh, that may or may not happen. Should be a slow morning here in Europe. So let's see how we go. Obviously, FOMC is the. Uh, is the main item on the business agenda today so we got a long time for that sloppy range probably for this morning let's look at ES this is a bit startling I have to say but here we are at the top of the range this is our sell area um, 3290 to 3306 uh, this is a sell so, I don't know, hold your nose. Very bullish day yesterday, but bullish in the middle of all of this nonsense. The gap closes 93. We got to 91 today, 90 and three quarters. Um, we're sellers of S&Ps uh, between 90 and 98 today. Crude, same, same idea. Uh, we talked about it on Twitter last night, selling 97s, selling 22s, 25 was the high, gap has been filled here. Um, we like this to head back lower. Um, and crude and S&Ps, it's just global slowdown, right? Um, we think that this uh, coronavirus plus uh, valuations plus um, just general slowdown that we feel is happening uh, throughout the world 
should reduce crude demand uh, and should turn risk off stock valuations lower. We shall see. Gold, not really doing too, too much. Uh, we haven't been involved in gold too much here. I mean, a bearish day yesterday, but now you're just back in the middle of the range. Nothing to do in gold. Bitcoin is ripping. We talked about it down at 8,000. You got to be long Bitcoin going into this period. Um, Bitcoin's ripping. I mean, it should be through 10,000 sooner rather than later. Um, that's Bitcoin. Cable got down to got down to 77 yesterday. Um, 75 even. This looks like uh, she wants to break this downside before the BOE. We just nipped through this trend line yesterday, but now we have it here again. Um, short cable looks okay, um, but you know, you're going into a BOE where it's a coin flip on what they're going to do. I have a feeling they're going to cut. Um, just have that feeling. Uh, Carney doesn't trust Johnson, and he doesn't trust this whole Brexit thing, this whole Brexit negotiation. He's, of course, Canadian, so he knows full well it took Canada 10 years to negotiate a trade deal with the UK. Um, so I think he'll be more on the worried side, and this is why I do think he is going to cut. We shall see. Cad Yen bullish engulfed yesterday. 84, 83.15 is the gap close. Be careful of Cad Yen. We're, we're not super on board with this as a risk on metric. Um, we'd probably more likely be sellers up at 80, 83.15 than buyers of Cad Yen, but it did bullish engulf. Um, so keep your eye out on CAD Yen, see how that does today. Our main focus is now this Euro Swiss, trying to get long Euro Swiss. Uh, we're trying to sell equities um, between 90 and the figure. Uh, we're at 87 now, and we're waiting for the FOMC, right? We, we don't have too much going on here in Europe. Let's just. Uh, Wednesday import prices, nobody cares. UK housing, I guess, Spanish retail sales, nobody cares. Really, we had nothing. We got pending home sales in the US, and we got crude inventories today, uh, which is a waste of time. And basically, we have um, the Fed rate decision, which will be there'll be no move on rates, and you just want to carefully listen to Powell, see if he comments on the balance sheet, um, and see what his mood is uh, going forward. So the press conference, uh, 8.30 p.m. Swiss time, uh, is going to be important. All right, I've said enough. Uh, you see what we're targeting today. Good luck out there, people, and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.